The behavior of a parasite is the action of a living organism benefiting and thriving in their surroundings at the expense of the natural environment for the purpose of survival. Humans have shown parasitic behavior on Earth for thousands of years now, but with proper understanding of our impact on other living organisms, we can change and in the new age of communication, we can focus our attention on the things we have impacted the most. And as we look to make planet Earth our sustainable base home in the centuries ahead, for the purpose of space exploration in the expansion of human interest. Our home should be the place we are the most proud of, and if we ever encounter another civilization in the universe, then we should be as awake as possible for that inevitability. LiDAR technology has accelerated the discovery of the past, and this will help us piece together the end of previous civilizations under cataclysmic occurrences so we can prepare our people better for these inevitable circumstances in the future. LiDAR is an exciting technology at the forefront of discovery. Only a few years ago this was unimaginable and so was the idea that the 4 billion people on the earth that are not connected to the internet suddenly being connected. At the beginning of 2020 for example we had around 2000 orbiting satellites. Well. It is all about to get much more crowded up there in the great unknown because in the age of technology an explosion of knowledge is going to be unleashed on the population as an apparent effort to accelerate the awakening which has now begun. Wait till you hear this. When it is completed and brought into operation, SpaceX Starlink satellite system will be the largest satellite system ever brought into operation and other companies are making similar arrangements to compete and this is good news for the unconnected but signifies major problems for others. This will unfortunately affect Earth viewing of the universe as the satellites are appearing as white streaks competing with the stars. Astronomers say these satellites will seriously hamper stargazing from the Earth. It remains to be seen how damaging this may be when the satellites are brought online later this year. The satellites are going to bring high-speed internet access to everyone on the planet. That is the goal. Even in the most remote regions, the idea is that if you have enough of these satellites bouncing the signals about all over the place, then it is close to impossible to not get a connection. Instead of being constrained by wires and cables, satellites can beam internet access down to the ground from space. Currently there are just 2,000 odd active satellites flying around the Earth, but when the Starlink constellation is complete, there could be over 12,000 in orbit. They are currently on their third batch of launches, launching 60 satellites into orbit every few weeks. This will mean about 1,500 satellites will have been launched by the end of next year, and by the mid-2020s, there could be a fleet of 12,000. UK company OneWeb are aiming for about 650 satellites, but this could rise to 2,000 if there is enough customer demand, while Amazon have a constellation of 3,200 spacecraft planned. The night sky, it seems, could become visibly busier and if you are an astronomer, then this could be a concern. An astronomer at the Royal Observatory Greenwich said, These satellites are about the size of a table, but they're very reflective. And their panels reflect lots of the sun's light, which means that we can see them in images that we take with telescopes. These satellites are also big radio wave users, and that means they can interfere with the signals the astronomers use. So, it also affects radio astronomy as well. The astronomer warns that problems will grow as the number of satellites in orbit increase. They present a foreground between what we're observing from the Earth and the rest of the universe. So, they get in the way of everything and you'll miss whatever is behind them, whether that's a nearby potentially hazardous asteroid or the most distant quasar in the universe. It will be particularly troublesome for telescopes taking large surveys of the sky, such as the Future Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, LSST, in Chile. 
What we want to do with LSST and other telescopes is to make a real-time motion picture of how the sky is changing. Now, we have these satellites that interrupt observations, and it's like someone's walking around firing a flashbulb every now and again. SpaceX said in a statement that they were actively working with international astronomers to minimize the impact of the Starlink satellites. For the next launch, which launched January 8th, they are trialing a special coating that is designed to make the spacecraft less bright to see if this will help, but this remains to be seen. The explosion in technological development is the result of humans making improvements to necessary developments. Through trial and error, we can make things cleaner, more sustainable, and by connecting civilization, we can deliver these changes. If the Starlink satellite constellation works, then 4 billion Earthlings will have internet access within a few years. Not only are our skies about to get crowded, the internet is about to blow up as well. What do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.